Proverbs 3. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to over, overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke, because the Lord disciplines the, those he loves, as a father the as a father the son he delights delights in. Blessed is the man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding, for he for for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than reward, than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Those who lay hold of her will be blessed. By wisdom, the Lord laid the earth's foundation. By understanding, he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge, the deeps have... By his knowledge, the deeps were divided, and the clouds let dr drop the dew. My son, pres preserve sound judgment and discernment. Do not let them out of your sight. They will be life for you, an ornament to brace your neck. They will be, they will go on, then you will go on your way in safe, safety, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be your confidence and he will keep your foot from being snared. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it is in your power to act. Do not say to your neighbor, come back later. I'll give it tomorrow, when you know you have it with you. Do not plot harm against your neighbor who lives trust trustfully near you. Do not accuse a man for no reason when he has done you no harm. Do not envy a violent man 
or choose any of his ways. Do not and for the Lord detests a perverse man, but takes the upright into his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, and but he blesses the home of the righteous. He mocks proud mockers, but gives grace to the humble. The wise inherit honor, but fools he holds up to shame. 